Hey guys, you're watching Explore the Weird. Are you into creepy and weird things? Well, you must be a goon. Things are happening on this channel. We need your support now more than ever. If you're into long form content, guys that react to the video and wa actually watch the video alongside you, that is exactly what you're going to get on this channel. If you're into slow, monotonous channels, please click off the video. There's plenty of other people that react to similar content like me. Go watch them. It's okay. Maybe in the future date you will be a goon, because right now I'm not for you. But for the goons that are still here, guys, we're going to get right into it. I put my hair up. Is this weird? I'm using that. It is weird. And welcome to Explore the Weird. Are you a goon? No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Things are happening. ADHD like anything. I use the headphones to keep the hair up. I think it looks cool. You don't know what cool is. Get out of here. You're watching Explore the Weird. All right. We're going to get right into it. Oh boy, Teddy. Oh boy, you lost like 90 viewers with that alone. You know how I say they love to put the truth in plain sight? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Watch this. Those blow up, it's not always an accident. What do you mean, not an accident? Who is this guy singing? And who am I, a conspiracy fly? Did you know NASA means deceive in Hebrew? I did not. The Denver airport was built by the Illuminati. Did y'all catch that when the fly said NASA means to deceive in Hebrew? Now I'm about to show you how NASA trolled everyone. So we are in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 13. This is where Satan deceived Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me. And I did eat. Let's take a look at this word beguiled here. And the Hebrew word beguiled is literally NASA, which means to lead astray, to delude, beguile, deceive. So NASA literally means to deceive. Ever wonder what this red thing going through NASA's logo is? Well, I'll tell you. And oh yeah, and if you type in Flat Earth backwards on Google, the first thing that pops up, you're not going to believe it. <laughs> Yo, that is wild. Why is NASA so deep in, collu in cahoots with Google that they're manipulating the search like that? It's probably someone else doing it. <laughs> It's like, oh, he's looking up space. What else could it be? Um, interesting. Quite interesting. I don't know uh, if I completely relate that, hey, they came up with the acronym NASA and they had the um, meaning of deception behind it when they came up with this acronym. I feel like they may not have thought about this and it's just coincidence, but only time will tell. We do know they're decepting us. They've admitted to faking stuff. They've admitted to photoshopping. They've literally photoshopped as we speak. So, yeah, things are happening. Let's uh, keep it going. Nothing is new under the sun. Just cheap reinventions of the old world. This was an electric taxi, a fleet of them. And this one was pulling in to a quick service station where rather than having to charge the whole car, they would just swap out the battery. And on the road it went. And this was in 1943. Like I said, what we get nowadays is crappy technology we already had, reinvented. To maximize profits for the parasites, of course, still. Good luck finding a decent, affordable electric. Or how about down to simple home building? 3D printed houses are all the rage nowadays. That's quick, affordable housing. But they already had that back in the day too. This was back in 1950. Just a few small examples though. Not only did they have 3D printed houses and electric taxi fleets, but affordable electric rails that ran throughout the streets of most American towns even. Even in my little town, they used to have an electric rail. No profits in affordable transportation now. Question everything, friends. Until next time. Yeah, definitely intriguing things, you know, and the guy has like this, um, 
mindset of like, oh, they're just reinventing everything and making it crappier. But, you know, comparing the electric taxi that was unveiled in 1943 or whatever he said, uh, compared to the 2024 Tesla, I must say, I think the Tesla wins in, in engineering alone. You know, hey, yeah, they're reinvent. Maybe it's not an original idea. Nothing ever is. You know, even probably the platform you're watching me on wasn't an original idea. They probably were like, hey, we should also get into this. Oh, we just did it better. Uh, or, hey, we're just more popular, whatever it may be. Um, it Clearly, the electric uh, battery did not click or did not take off in, in the 1940s. And now we are in this EV cycle where people are making battery type vehicles for everything. So... Um, interesting. I'm not too familiar with the 3D printing process either. I don't know how many houses are being built now or how cheaply or effectively. But, I, you know, the consensus is it is cheaper to uh, do a 3D printed house rather than building it yourself. You know, and it all depends on the materials. It all depends on what uh, you're taking in. But, yeah, this is quite interesting. Uh, let's keep it going. Right hand side we got organic, and let's just see. Yeah, sure enough, that yellow color is glyphosate and atrazine, the pesticides that the 11.5 water was able to remove. And let's see if the organic's any better. And it really doesn't look any better. So you think when you're buying organic that it's pesticide free? Well, think twice. A lot of the time. Uh, conventional crops are grown right beside organic crops, and when they spray, it just gets blown over. Um, there's also a list of pesticides that organic farms are allowed to use. So definitely you need to properly wash your veggies, and tap water will not cut it, because it's not able to emulsify oil like the 11.5 water. Wait, so what do you do? You do like an extra rinse or something? How are you supposed to get the pesticides out, sir? How are you supposed to get the pesticides out? I feel like I'm screwed either way. No matter what I eat, I'm poisoned. Oh, Teddy, the water, ah, uh, poison. Oh, Teddy, organic poison. Oh, Teddy, the veggies, poison. Oh, Teddy, the fruits, poison. Everything is freaking poison, man. There's no, we might as well be the freaking snow, living in snow white times at this time. Oh my God, Teddy, even the freaking apples. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. I don't even know what to do with the, you know, I, my diet's already bad. I'm not claiming to be a healthy person. Um, yeah, we'll see, I guess. Uh, you gotta make better choices, Teddy, or it's all downhill from here. What are these better choices? Everything's out to kill me. Even when I think I'm making a healthy choice by going organic, I'm dying. <laughs> the pesticide's gonna kill you, Teddy. Everything's gonna kill me. Oh, boy, it's true. Uh... Darwinism. I gotta somehow make the gene pool better. I have to be the one to survive and continue the genetics. That's the only way. We're gonna die anyway. And it's the strongest are gonna be the ones that are gonna live. So that's the goal. We'll keep it going. Sounds morbid. Hey, but you're having fun, aren't you? Welcome. Are you a goon? Did you smoke the like button before the video even started? Did you consider becoming a member today? Because that's what YouTube says I need to do next. I need to get to eight members. Are we getting up there? Are we at eight members yet? Have you decided to support the channel? Oh, Teddy. Oh, Teddy, I need to see more content from you. Stop doing this every other day. Start doing this every day. I wish I could, buddies. I wish I could. I want to. I want to. All right. Um, let's keep it going. 
His remote viewing was so accurate that he was employed by the CIA to spy on military complexes all over the world. They stepped up his game quite a bit by having him remote view Jupiter and then later confirmed his findings via unmanned probe. He was then ready for one of the weirdest and scariest jobs of his entire career, which was to remote view activity on the moon. Please remember that everything here is backed up by CIA documents that are also in the back of the book but easily searchable online. Axel gave me moon coordinates. I found towers, machinery, lights of different colors, strange looking buildings. I found bridges whose function I couldn't figure out. One of them just arched out and never landed anywhere. There were a lot of domes of various sizes, something to keep in mind for later, round things like small saucers with windows. These were stored next to crater sides, sometimes in caves, straight roads extending some miles obelisks that had no apparent function. There were nets over craters, houses in which someone obviously lived, except that I couldn't see who, save in some cases. In that case, I saw some kind of people busy at work on something that I could not figure out dark. The air, and air is in quotes in here, was filled with a fine dust and there was some kind of illumination, like a dark lime green fog or mist. The thing about them was that they either were human or looked exactly like us. They were all males have a sausage fest on the moon, I guess. They seem to be digging into a hillside or a cliff. But being there in my psychic state, as I felt I was, some of those guys started talking excitedly. Two of them pointed in my direction. Immediately, I felt like running away, and that's in quotes as well, and hiding, which I guess I psychically did since I lost sight of this particular imaging. I think they have spotted me, Axel. This is in quotes. He's talking to the CIA agent at this point. They were pointing at me, I think. How could they do that unless dot 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 they have some kind of high psychic perceptions too axel said that is a cia agent in a calm low voice please come back away from that place quickly my eyes were wide as understanding drained in quote you already know they were psychic don't you axel raised his eyebrows and gave a deep sigh and at that point, he abruptly closed his folders and said, I think we had better end our work here today. If it's telepathy, it's a different kind, at least from how it is understood here on Earth. It's not just telepathy either. When they saw me, they couldn't really see me, could they? Uh, question mark. What then were they seeing? Rather sort of like a ripple in some kind of cross-dimensionality. They knew what the ripple meant, like a sort of penetration of where they were, uh, which the book is called Penetration. That's how they got the name Penetration for the book. It's not what you might be thinking. Only those guys, they were going to hone in on it, the ripple that is. At least that's the best way to describe it. Axelrod then reminded me of... Bro, this is freaking wild. I've never heard of Ingo Swan, but Ingo Swan... He'd be remote viewing some crazy things. He'd been seeing some crazy things and he figured it all out. I don't know if this is uh, based on fiction or nonfiction or I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what the heck I just listened to, but it was uh, wild. I heard about the probe and they had certain images. Then you had to make clarifications. So I don't know where this guy's mind is, um, but he definitely uh, wants to let us know that Axel already knew. They already knew, Teddy, that they were telepathic on the moon base and you know uh, unfortunately our boy Ingo did not know and they found him out they now know and they located him and now it's all a mystery is Ingo still alive that's what I want to know Teddy he's not alive let me tell you crazy Teddy stop killing everybody ah man why you gotta expose the guys that are exposing the secrets are the ones that get silenced why is that who's next Bob Lazar no 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 Dr. Greer no 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 <laughs> Oh my god, here we go, here we go. How did this turn morbid again? Um, yeah, interesting. Um, I can understand remote viewing because there's been lots of cases done on even our own government that has found remote viewers and put them in for the tests and they passed, right? 
So if this guy truly did see this in a remote viewing session, then I'm going to agree. And we know NASA's deception, deceiving in Hebrew. They're here to deceive, Teddy. Yeah, I'm already deceived. All right, so Space Force, tell me what's going on. Are there moon bases? Is that why you exist now? What's going on? Tell me the reason for the Space Force. I always ask and no one ever tells me. All right. In my part one video, I showed you guys strange artifacts that were supposedly recovered in Egypt, a mysterious stone that supposedly has superpowers and is made of red mercury. In most videos, there's a person showing the date and the supposed superpowers that this, these stones have. Watch the water bottle. If you want, you can watch part one to understand more. There are, now here's the weird part. Red Mercury does not officially exist, however, in many videos out there, you'll find several people showing some of its superpowers. Check this out. The first person to talk about this mysterious substance was Arab alchemist Jabir ibn Hayyan, father of chemistry. This was in 700 AD. He wrote, the most precious elixirs to have ever been blended on earth were hidden in the pyramids. So what is really red mercury? Does it really exist? And does it really have superpowers? Or is it just a scam for people to sell these things for thousands of dollars? What's your take? Bro, how did this go from a stone, magical stone, dated in 2022, and now it's 2024, and then to red mercury, the liquid, and like, it, you know, they show it being like an x-ray machine, they show it being um, like an energy sucker or electricity sucker, uh, light sucker, whatever it may be, but it's like, yo, this is almost feels a little too edited. Um, and the thing that gave it away for me is the reflections. You guys know I've done video editing classes. Reflections is like the first thing you learn. And then they show the uh, reflection of the stone, but there is no reflection of the stone. And it's just a still uh, image and the stone's not in the reflection. So you go, I go, A, hey, sounds like edited stuff to me. So I'm taking this with a grain of salt, but I would love it. I would love it if this is all true and there really it was a stone and now in 2024 we've harnessed the power of red mercury and we're uh, doing so many great things with it but unfortunately I don't think that's what we're living and excuse me and these guys could be silenced as, as well you don't know anything could happen you don't know you don't know all right let's uh keep it going stop eating when the sun is setting when you chew chew until it becomes a liquid your digestive system can't digest chunks of food the sun powers your digestive system and your body when the sun is not present and you eat something this is going to cause problems within your digestive system stop mixing foods mixing animal flesh with potato and bread will cause the food to solidify within your stomach leading to constipation and the birth
within your body. Acne is undigested food coming through your skin. The digestive system cannot digest all of the toxins, so it has to find a way out and it comes through the skin. Your cells are electric, your brain is electric, your central nervous system is electric, and you are electromagnetic. The body runs off electricity. It is an electrical machine. Therefore, your body and your cells needs to be charged by electric food, which is grown under the electric sun. Sun's rays crystallize within the food that is grown underneath the sun. This is why you can see the glowing aura of an apple compared to a slice of flesh. This is dead. You do not want dead things within your body. It will not charge you. Your teeth are not made to rip open flesh. Veganism rearranged is saving me. And your intestines are not like a lion's or a dog's. All the legends in the past knew this, and this is why they were all vegan. No, there was a lot to uh, unpack there. Main takeaway was, hey, you know, make sure you know what you're eating. Uh, eat foods that charge you and I've seen a couple variations of this video now uh, Grown more and more skeptical to this uh, thing because you know, they're like hey The reason you have acne is not because of this it's because you're not doing this and it's like no bro There's so many reasons that people get acne like it can't just be this one thing and then you try to add Oh, we're electrical beings onto this from biological beings and then the foods that we eat like the uh, mixing of the uh, bread potatoes and meat and that solidifies bro. I have Crohn's disease no matter what the heck I eat and I have tried every single freaking diet Let me tell you let me tell you some people just can't help it. You know uh, my body goes. Nope Don't don't know what this is Inflammation don't know what this is inflammation. It may know exactly what it is I could eat peanut butter one day eat peanut butter the next day and body goes. Nope. Boom uh, So I'm not uh, completely buying everything he's chilling because uh, uh, you know I suffered through some of these uh um, gut issues and it is a true wish I've tried to revive my gut I've tried to do all these things uh, so far smoking the like button medical marijuana has been the only thing um, that has helped uh, and now I'm even on like some crazy other things but regardless regardless the goal is to live we're gonna manifest living um, whether I mean all the foods are here are to kill you you know he showed you some charged uh, apples and stuff we've seen before but let me tell you that apples have pesticides those pesticides gonna kill you and the water that that apple was watered with also had uh pharmaceutical particles and nanoparticles <laughs> oh my god they're all trying to kill you buddies oh oh teddy what are we supposed to do we're gonna keep hopping we're gonna manifest living ubi all right let's keep Oh man, this was this was so sad. What the heck is going on for entertainment purposes only? And it's clearly people setting the woods on fire. I mean, a, oh Teddy, it's a contained fire, B buddy. This is outside on a trail with like a guy clearly circling around on an ATV. Teddy, stop explaining your video. They just seen it. Yeah, I know, I know. But I'm just like, I'm confused. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> They're, they're killing animals, literally. There could be so many things in those woods that even that tiny amount could be in an ecosystem for so many uh, beings. Oh my god, this is so weird. Why are you recording this and showing this? Ah, oh, this is just sad. This is just sad. This is a, We already have issues with fires and unnamed fires and laser beams. And here's two idiots going around recording their idiotism. Someone recently told me that, oh, actually not someone, some guy literally copy-pasted the definition of goons and was like, Teddy, goons means you're stupid. See, you're telling everybody they're stupid. I'm like, bro, what the hell? Goons means you're exploring the weird, you have good energy, you're a true goon, you have good vibes. You're not trying to be nefarious, you're truly exploring, you got an open mind, and that's what it's about. But, you know, we got these uh, naysayers that want to 
go to like, oh, Teddy, this is what it really means. No, no, we are the change we want to see. We're changing the name, the definition. I'm sorry, not the name, the definition of the word goons. We're going to be the change we want to see. And we are positive people. And this video was not positive at all. This was just sad. All right, let's keep it going. 1920 is when everything pretty much changed. They started changing every single thing. They started removing certain parts of the history. They started rewriting the history. 1920s is about that time. Educational system started changing everything. Rockefeller educational system started changing everything. So if you find books, you want to find books before 1920s. Because if you don't find books before 1920s, you're usually being told a bunch of nonsense. And you look at a lot of the free energy books too, and everything related to the ether, that's before 1920s. The ether was removed from the periodic table after 1908. And every book you look into, it talks about ether and terrestrial magnetism and all of these things. <laughs> But this definitely makes uh, sense with the idea of hey, making us dumb, uh, depopu depopulation, uh, whatever they can do in order to give us that uh, narrative of, hey, we're getting a um, uh, different uh, agenda across, which is just not telling people about this fifth element, the ether, which was written in books before the 1920s. And once the Rockefellers took over, they changed that narrative in order to... Uh, not give us the full information so they're the knowledgeable ones and they're the smart ones and they can control us oh my god teddy you're figuring it out oh yes buddies oh yes okay <laughs> what's going on uh -uh. um yeah so quite interesting i i am i kind of want to know more but yeah this is uh interesting all right let's keep it going you need to see this. Why does every rock in this little oasis area look like a face or a frog or a lizard or some animal looks like it's screaming? This is one of the coolest places I've ever seen in my life. It's a place I simply need to check out. I'm going to track it down and Indiana Jones it. Yo, what the heck? Yeah, Indiana Jones in this location, bro. I wouldn't even go to that location. What if like you somehow um, solve the curse and all these things come back to life and now you got the uh, situation on your hands you got all these stone animals coming to life ready to attack who knows what are you now their leader you figured it out you indiana jones did teddy i figured i went into the crypt and i uh took the egg or oh, no it's a shibalingam he takes a shibalingam out of the thing i've seen the movie trust me i know shibalingams i'm pretty good with them oh wait what if these stone things and animal carvings are shibalingams too they're just energy producers teddy there's just monumentous energy coming off these things potentially yeah i now want to know more about this location we should all go explore and we're gonna find this place <laughs> oh teddy what is there what is there all right interesting let's uh keep it going accepting the this dissension of the requires SS. a lot of this wake entire up from thing the that we're seeing right here with this big curve is literally inside of this circle okay this is just a fisheye lens a high altitude balloon or airplane whole thing is this right where's the rest of the earth right that makes no sense whatsoever 2012 picture right so i drew a circle here showing you what we're seeing on their landmass you have to believe that all of this landmass is on the other side now again this is where your brain goes i i i can't process that you can't process it because it's unprocessable you're shown a lie this big. Some people's egos, some people just can't handle it. They're like, I can't, my whole lie can't be alive. That because when you unwind the flat earth deception, it, it's some, I don't want to say scary. It's some crazy 
deception. It, it is such a big deception. It's kind of upsetting. But once you get through that, right, here's the river right here. Here's the river, right? All of this is on the other <laughs> side of that fall. Okay? Thank you for laughing because most people are like, I can't, I can't think about it. It doesn't, it's, it's too hard. Okay? It's ridiculous, really. Um, right. This is a... Yo, these are actual pictures that we have come to say are representations of a circular round earth. And this guy is translating those pictures to a world map. And, you know, all these critics, oh, Teddy, they make all these world maps with different blah, 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 blah. Buddy, the landmass alone, he has a point. You know, it's hard to envision an encompassing sphere that would account for all the other areas of the map, you know. And regardless of how it's portrayed, uh, whether Antarctica is fully accounted for or not, oh, my God, there's so many other questions. There's so many other questions. Uh, I'm still firmament. We get we're in a firmament. All right, that's that's what I'm feeling. All right, let's keep it going. Do you believe the Earth is flat? I know the Earth is flat. Seriously, uh, astrology and flat Earth or true Earth are symbiotic. You cannot have one without the other. If you have a ball and you are spinning, flying through space, chasing this fireball, your constellations would change every now and then. And our constellations have never changed. The stars have never changed. We have the same 12 zodiac signs that we had back in the Dendera stones in Egypt over 5,000 years ago. We're not moving. Every single ancient society knew this. The Mayans, the Aztecs, the Hindus, the Egyptians, every single ancient culture knew that we live in a geocentric universe, not a heliocentric, where we are spinning, chasing this ball of fire while all of these other planets are rotating around us, while all of these other stars are rotating around us. If that was the case, Polaris would move, number one, which is the North Star, and it doesn't. Number two, all of the constellations would not rotate solely around Polaris, but they do. Therefore, we are the center of the universe. Believing in the Big Bang Theory is something that is very common today, yep. where people think, you know, we're the product of an accident and, that, you know, we don't have a creator. Mm -hmm. We're just here to consume and live our best life and not live up to our potential. But if you're the center of the universe, that means that you're very special. That means that you have a creator who is very conscious and cares about you. And when you see yourself as being watched by these heavenly bodies above you 24-7, you start to take your life a little bit more Yo, regardless of what you believe in religious or spiritual needs, I definitely appreciate you guys for watching this video. Um, you guys are the best. You definitely are here for a purpose. Don't do anything malicious. Farmer Will, you be okay, buddy. Farmer Will, you be okay. Um, Nathan, thanks for everything. I appreciate you as well. Recently, you've been killing it in the comments, as well as Jenna Morrow, Jenna Cole, um, Jane, always killing it. Jane Wolf, the OG. Chris, you know who you are. Um, there's so many guys. Rob, Rob's gonna come in. Rob, why didn't you give me a shout out, Teddy? Oh, Rob, I did multiple times now, so don't kill me now. Um, yeah, no, quite interesting. I like this guy's way of thinking. I'm going simulation, even though the astrology doesn't change. Uh, no matter how many years go by, I think our puzzle's not supposed to change. We're just stuck in here, and I'm a firmament believer. So yeah, he's saying he knows it is. Because of all these reasons, I can relate. It definitely sounds solidified. All right, let's do um, two more. Let's just do two more. You hear about this peer-reviewed study that had to be retracted? There were three college professors who wanted to see if there was corruption in peer-reviewed journals. So they submitted a fake study on rape culture in dog parks. They claimed that they had personally examined the genitals of 10,000 dogs and that they interviewed the owner of each dog about the dog's sexuality. The study didn't just pass peer review of a reputable journal it was going to be highlighted at an award ceremony. Here's the embarrassing retraction that the journal later had to release. These professors submitted 20 fake studies in total. Seven passed peer review. Seven more were still in peer review when they called off the hoax for ethical reasons, which means at least 50% of these fake studies were getting through. But it shows that the science has always been for sale. I mean, just look at the history of food science and you'll know all you have to know, which is why I wrote the book, You Are What You Eat, because scientists are are incentivized by money and status to come to certain conclusions. They could be outright bought, but more often the grant money. If you come to certain conclusions, you get the money. That's your climate change science, which is why I write books on how information is controlled. But so many people don't understand this because they've been trained not to look past the authority. Check out Cubs to Bears books, Alaska Learner.com. 
Whoa, this is crazy. I've never even considered that half the studies that are being published by the so-called experts could be fake. And even when they're peer-reviewed, those peer-reviewer guys don't even know what the heck they're peer-reviewing. And therefore, that could be fake. They need accountability just like PE our uh, professional engineers have in the engineering world. You know, hey, if you sign off on something and something fails, it's you that are responsible because you signed off on this thing. I feel like something of this needs to happen in these expert studies and articles that are published. Oh, boy, Teddy. Oh, boy. I can relate to this. You know, back when... Um, before Kyra, I was trying to figure out, hey, is smoking the like button uh, worth it when you're trying to conceive? And, you know, you find out from reading here and there that, hey, some people say smoking the like button definitely doesn't affect. Some people say smoking the like button diminishes all these things. Well, guess what? I'm here to tell you that these studies are all fake, buddies. <laughs> Kyra came no matter what like button was smoked. Um, regardless... Uh, interesting, Teddy. They didn't need to know that. Yo, you know what? The studies are fake, all right? Even all the shit I read, it was uh, like a constant deba debate in my head. I'm like, oh, do I believe this one or do I believe this one? Do I believe this? This one says this and this one contradicts this one. I'm like, oh my god, nothing makes sense. Hey, you know why? Because you're just supposed to manifest it. You just manifest whatever you want. We're going to make it happen. It's going to work. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Make sure it's uh, something that's doable, all right? Don't go with something crazy. Um, all right, let's just do one more. Just one more. Just one more, Teddy. Oh, music is vibration. Whatever vibration you put out affects your energy and allows you to transcend to different realms. That's why it's important to watch what music you listen to. Make sure you're really conscious of what energy you're, you're taking in, whether that's people, places, music, food, all that matters to how you feel. When we say in these certain lyrics, especially the lyrics, the frequencies is one thing, but the lyrics is an affirmation that we sing. So we saying murder, kill, sex, drugs, and des destruction. We keep saying that eventually we're gonna manifest that entire reality. That's why it's so important for us to do more stuff like this because you can't just tell somebody not to listen to something without replacing it. You have to replace that with something more righteous like what we're doing right here. They use the people with the highest status to make this music to dumb down the youth to keep the smart ones in the youth from getting to that position and change like we're doing right now. They putting out music to make you want to crash out. They give you bad ideas. Hey, let's go slide on this op. They're making it seem like good ideas. So watch what you listen to. Last thing I want to say is I'll praise to the most high. Bro, yeah, 100% agree with this. I have a lot of guys, even in the goon world, that are like, Oh, Teddy, you went and you went to a music festival, you attended a ritual, blah, blah, blah. Bros, I'm a woke goon. I know when to go in and out of the simulation, all right? Or the Matrix. And let me tell you, the music we listen to, all the music that's coming out, has an alternative purpose, which is they want to grow. They want that music to be listened to by hundreds of thousands, millions, billions of people, right? That's the whole thing. I'm happy, da -na -na -na, Pharrell Williams, right? Like, this is the thing. This is what, just because artists are making this music, not every single one has to be nefarious. Not every single one has to have an ulterior motive. And let's say they do. Oh, this type of music is bad. Okay, you just because you listen to it doesn't mean you now abide by what it's saying. You now agree to everything it's saying. You can listen to music, hate it, and move to something else. So I think what they're saying, yes, I 100% understand. Be cautious of the music you're listening to, what you're uh, inviting in. But also, as goons, as goons, enjoy the music, guys. Enjoy whatever you need to, but do it cautiously and know that, hey, you're in a, uh exposed state. And then once you're done listening to music, you're back to your regular self. And know the ins and outs. Know how to go uh, from one setting to another. And don't just get stuck in the music. Don't get all, um, you know, what did it say? Like, uh, you know, looking straight forward. And you just, like, all of a sudden believe everything the music says. And you turn all cultist and stuff. That is not what we need. Don't be that good. All right, guys. That is it. I hope you guys had fun. I'm having so much fun, um, you know, learning alongside you guys. Really trying to better myself. Especially when this great reset comes or the end times comes, or the illumination comes, literally whatever it may be, I'm ready. I'm now reading how to grow, how to grow in bags. Yeah, lots of things you can grow in bags. Potatoes, carrots, tomatoes, sweet potatoes. I've already grown carrots before. Um, for the guys that follow me on Instagram, T-E-D-I-G-A-N-J-A, -E it's literally right above me. Um, and you'll see I've done some indoor gardening, so I'm looking back at it want to make sure I uh, Familiarize myself just in case just in case I will know what goes into my 
seeds, but I don't know what goes into the seeds of what I get from the supermarket. So uh, making smart decisions. Hopefully you guys are also. I will see you guys next time. Stay safe, stay strong, and goodbye.